Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 Modded Career Mode. I am Neko Darius, and it's good to have you guys back. And as you guys are well aware of, if you saw the last episode, and if you didn't, I implore you to go back. It was a banger after banger after banger so far this season. This season has been above and beyond whatever I could have even expected. And I know for a fact the twists, the turns, and the uh, different you know things that are happening in the season are really keeping you guys hopefully on your edge of your seats especially after we ran out of fuel coming to the checkered flag there you go if you didn't see it you might want to go back and see it heading into talladega as you guys know i am now a new um, car owner i do own two cars now in the series that is stephen w 1323's car the number 56 um you know pontiac and then of course i've got joe Aggie who's also driving the number 52 Pontiac. So it's good to have those two racing for me. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get them fixed in, in due time. It's due process. Okay. Things take, things take a while because I'm the number 53 car. You know what I'm saying? But we're heading into Talladega and hopefully when I sent, I sent them over some brand new cars. So hopefully we'll see them a little bit more towards the front this time around. They ran really respectably in their debut races, but Talladega, I'm going to really need some help. And I wouldn't mind teaming up with one of the Pontiac drivers. But we've already done a lot of the extra things that we need to do in the background. We've already, you know, worked on some things in the garage. We got some things in overhauling. We've already looked at our sponsorship. We know we got a shop edition that's going to take a while. The only thing that I haven't brought you guys up to speed on, just like last time at the end of the last episode, I'm bringing it up to you guys again. We are currently the points leader over Kurt Busch, 94 points um, behind. Rusty Walls, Mark Martin, Jeff, uh, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Johnson, John Andretti, and Jeff Gordon, Joe Nemechek, and Dale Jarrett round out the top 10. We're also still the only Pontiac driver in the field. And I think finishing fifth, I didn't score as many points for um, the Manufacturer's Championship as I would have liked. Yeah, see, I've only scored like three, maybe five. I think maybe five when you count, um, when you count joe and steven's uh performance so we, we maybe got five points all together which ain't a lot um actually i think i scored the five points because i finished fifth they, they don't score points outside of the top five for um manufacturers so ford is kind of ahead right now against chevy dodge and of course us as eight points that's now it doesn't sound like a lot but when you're not getting a lot of points week in and week out then it's a lot now for the first or the second super speedway race of the season. We're just going to go ahead and quick select. We have only one chassis body and engine that works for the super speedways. So Talladega is where we're about to head. I've been in Talladega in real life. I've seen some things in Talladega in real life. Let's hope that Talladega does not turn into Daytona and the Daytona 500 from the first race this season. All right, the first laps here for Neko Darius Racing as a three car organization at Talladega. I don't know where Joe and or Steven will qualify. I hope they qualify well. Um, I sent them the, you know, best uh, super speedway equipment I could probably send them. And I think Steven this time opted to bring something out of his own shop because um, he's, you know, he's a very well-respected driver on his own rights. You can definitely check out his YouTube channel, by the way, you know, just, just a little a little plug there. Check out Steven W. Uh, 1323's channel. Really good guy. Um, great driver. Coming through the trioval now. Um, I've got some notes to go off of, but of course, you know, I got my own, you know, thing that I've kind of built up on my own here. 27th is not looking that great coming through the line, um, especially considering what we know the car can do. So um, it's going to be a rough one here, I think. Talladega is going to definitely be a humbling experience, just like Daytona almost was, but we got lucky at Daytona with some well timed cautions that helped us out. Um, Talladega being wider, I don't think we'll see cautions, but you never know. I mean, it is NASCAR. So coming through the tri-oval now for the last lap of the race or the qualifying. And we've got second position. Good lap. Could be better. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series visits the famous Talladega Super Speedway today for the Aaron's 499. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live to bring you all the action. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Let me sum it up for you all. 2.6 miles, four lanes, 190 miles an hour. Just doesn't get much better. Let's just hope these guys can stay out of the big one. Mark Martin always seems to come up just a little short of the championship battle. He's been the Winston Cup runner-up four times now. and for a guy. But he's also a former champion. 
But every year he's right back in the hunt. Do y'all not understand? He's he's a he's a former champion. The 53 car has been mixing it up with some other drivers on the racetrack. If they don't want this to become a problem on the track and with NASCAR, these guys need to use their heads a bit out there. You can rub fenders now and again, but it shouldn't be a weekly occurrence. Do these announcers not remember that Mark Martin won the championship in 2003? Like, did they just forget? Okay, so my goal this time is to potentially work with Mark Martin and his engine not go up in smoke. So I think right now we're gonna go on the hero side. I did see where Steven and Joe qualified. They qualified near the back of the pack. I don't think they're great and strong in qualifying, but I think they'll be fine racing wise. So we'll kind of see how that shakes out. There are 33 laps here at Talladega. Should be enough for maybe one stop, maybe two. But we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. I think we did two stops at uh, at uh, uh, Daytona. So we might have two stops here. I'm gonna try my best to share draft with Mark Martin and make him a friend again. I think me and Mark Martin as former champions will be a formidable duo around the track. And I think uh, that will also help us break away from the guys behind. I mean, Roush Racing has been really strong so far this season. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to kind of see Mark Martin and the rest of the Roush guys get up here. But uh, with Mark qualifying on pole, you know, it couldn't have happened to a better guy um, here in this season. So I think it's good. 49, 22. Making up some time. And I just realized that Joe Nemechek is in the top five by looking over at the right side for the leaderboard. Joe Nemechek is running fourth and is outside of Jimmy Johnson. I can barely see their little specks back there in my rear view mirror, but we've actually broken away from much of the field. So I think this tandem with me and Mark Martin, you know, kind of picked up from where we were in Daytona. Definitely a, you know, positive for us right now. So I think we're just kind of set back and just kind of relax a little bit and see what happens. You know, the share draft is so overpowered that I no longer want to use it. So I'm just going to go back to regular drafting because we broke out a 3.7 second tandem draft here in NASCAR Thunder 04. You know, back in the day, that would have been unheard of. So I'm done with the share draft, at least for Mark Martin. I've made him my 100% friend again. So those who love Mark Martin, he's 100% a friend. He's an ally, a full ally. We'll just regular draft with him for now, and, you know, we'll yo-yo back and forth a bit, but that's fine. As long as I don't lose him as a draft help, I think I'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we're literally 4.25 seconds ahead of third place. I mean, at this point, all we need would be a caution. We didn't have a caution last race, which was a really big surprise to me that we didn't get a caution, um, all things considered. I, I definitely would have felt like it would have been better had we got one, but we didn't. You know, no, no use crying over spilled milk. I'm kind of crying over the spilled milk. I think we're doing good. We're, we're in a good spot here. We have gained 1.1 seconds over Jeff Gordon and, and Joe Nemechek. We're, we're, we're literally driving away. I'm going to go ahead and get me a, a, a lap lead here. I didn't lead a lap last race, and I have been letting Mark Martin lead for a while. Halfway on fuel already. Not good. I'll let Mark Martin get back in front of me here. I just want to lead a lap here. Get myself those five crucial bonus points. You know, I'm, I'm thinking big picture. All right, I got my points. Got Mark Martin outside. Mark Martin's still outside. I am trying to check up to let Mark Martin go by. I'm going like 170. All right, now back into the draft with him. Man, Mark, we got to work on that switch back, man. Almost gave up way too much time doing that. Y'all think Mark Martin was trying to set me up to make it so that I kept leading more laps so I run out of fuel faster? We got a car falling off the draft and falling off fast. Look at, look at that gap at the end of the pack on the track map on top right, guys. Whoever's in dead last is falling off the draft, has fallen off the draft and is just losing more and more time running by themselves. 
That's why I told you the draft is important. All right, so let me make sure I got the, uh, I got this in mind for each and every last one of you guys. No two tire, um, cheese because you know, you can cheese the system in this game by just taking two. Um, this will be it's four tires only in fuel or fuel only and go, but no two tire stop. I want to see if Mark Martin can push. I mean, we got such a big enough lead. I'm trying to give him some draft help here so that he doesn't run out of fuel or anything. But I'm trying to drag back, and he's just not wanting to stay behind me. I mean, you're a 100% ally, man. Shouldn't you want to, like, draft off of me? Shouldn't you want to save fuel? I guess not. Well, if you want to get back around me, get around me here at the start finish line. I think someone blew up, guys. Someone's someone's motor blow. Motor blow. Motor has blown. Also, us doing all the shenanigans and tomfoolery has brought the pack back to us, which should have really been a thought for me, but it wasn't. Whose motor is that that's blown up? Ooh, Matt Kenseth. Another Roush engine at a restrictor plate has gone up in smoke. If you guys remember correctly, the shootout, it was Mark Martin and the Daytona 500 was Mark Martin. You know, had my car not had good enough draft stats, Mark Martin would have been left me. Like, when he got that big of a run off the corner, he would have been gone. Hey, Mark, I don't want to scare you or anything, but I definitely think that we shouldn't be running this hot. Also, my fuel tank's almost empty. The 24 car is outside. We just lost a spot. We're third. So, I will take no tires. Yeah, this pit stall, this time, no tires. It's fuel only. Okay, so we've already made our bed here. We had to come down pit road. The good news is we didn't need tires. So that's worked out to our advantage, I think, but we are with no draft help. That's okay. Um, it's not ideal, but I think it will be okay. They're on lap 15 now, which means in theory, they can make it on one stop. We cannot. So I think we really need to focus engine efficiency going forward if we're hoping to actually compete in these longer events, because um, it's gonna be a humbling experience, guys. Oh, wait, they're gonna be short. If they're pitting now, most of the field is coming down. There's a yellow. That's what we needed. We needed a yellow flag. So I have no idea what it looks like over there. It seems like we got a few cars that may be out of the race. Um, got to be aware of any debris. So I think I'm going to stick up higher towards the towards the wall here. The 77 is not moving on track. We do have some cars on pit road. We got some cars that look like they're out of fuel. Thread the needle, Neko, Darius, woo! And then of course we wreck at the end there. <laughs> We will be bringing it down pit row. So the 42, ooh, or the four, the four hit. Oh, that's so sad, man. You know, this is the dangers of coming on pit road. I'm glad I came down pit road before everybody else did because that right there, that could have been me. So we are going to bring it back down. Um, I am going to get four tires and fuel. Um, I think in theory, I should be able to make it to the end from here. So I will pit this time. I know, I know what you guys are probably thinking, but Neko, you already came down pit road. I know. I'm thinking logically here. We ran out of fuel at Phoenix. I can't run out of fuel at uh, Talladega because if I run out of fuel, I'm not going anywhere. Guys, why, why is it taking so long? 
Like, I'm trying to get down Pit Road. That was weird. Okay. Give me four tires because we're going to need the tires. And then, of course, getting the fuel in there will be fine. So it looks like we'll be near the back of the field. I guess I can link up with Joe and or Steven and try to, you know, power my way to the front. I guess that works. I mean, since I couldn't get on pit road fast enough, I mean, we were stopped on track, guys. That's horrible. And we got to be aware that somebody may not be able to finish the race because we're going to probably have some guys who stayed out that need fuel. Some guys stayed out to gain track position. Wow, Steven's up to third. Holy crap. Steven's up to third. I'm 22nd. I see John and Dreddy in front of me, guys. So I think I can link up with J, uh, J.A. here once we get up to speed. We might also get some cautions for debris. So I'll go ahead and try to work with John and Dreddy. I said I would try. Travis Quapple kind of stops that. Mans is blocking like his life depends on it, Mr. Rookie. Get out of the way, please. Well, I can't get with J.A. He, if he's all the way up near the wall. Got a lot of cars jockeying for position. Got the 21 trying to block me all the way down the track. Michael Waltrip's in front of me. Got Jeremy Mayfield. Yeah, I think I see Joe up here too, guys. So I see Steven. I see Joe. Joe is just a little bit further ahead of me, though. Just need to make some good moves here to catch up. Ooh, I feel like I got my Dale Earnhardt on there, you know? The 22 and the 25 are ahead of me. Yeah, I see Joe. I see that orange car. That's Joe, all, all right. That's the 52 car. There's my guy. There's Joe. <laughs> I got Joe with me. Say his name, man. He appears. I believe in Joe Aggie. I believe in Joe Aggie. Come on, Joe. Put your put your foot down. Got my boy Joe. I'll take it. We're under yellow. Yeah, it's the 41. I knew the 41 was going to lose that, that hood eventually. 50, okay, let's get after these guys now. And you lost the draft again. I'm the leader at about I said the 41. I meant the 77, y'all. I knew the guy in 41st was going to lose that uh, hood. So that's Brendan gone. I am not going to pit. I already pit it. I'm back. I'm still in the lead of the point standings over Rusty Wallace, Rick, uh, Kurt Busch, Mark Martin, and John Andretti is now fifth in the standings. Just got to get past Carl Long, and we'll be good. We'll be back with Joe. Okay, we're back with Joe. He's running well above where I thought he would be at this point. Not bad for a second race in the season, huh? Come on, Joe. Come down. Come down, Joe. We got to block the low line. There we go. I really want to see if I can get up there to get to Steven, because... Steven's fighting for a win. I got to run. I'm going to take it. Sorry, Joe. Joe's going to have to do it on his own. I said Joe going to have to do it on his own. He did do it on his own. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's see if we can get past Tony Stewart now. Let's get to Steven. We got to get to our teammate. Boy, top five, man. The 
All right, I'm with Steven now. Got Joe right behind. I think Joe's gonna fall back here though. Yeah, I can't I can't focus on Joe directly while I gotta focus on Steven. So I gotta pick and choose, and right now I'm choosing Steven because he's running higher right now. Rusty Wallace and Dale Jr. at the front. Come on, buddy, push it. We can pick up some more spots. Gotta thank Two Kig for these uh, schemes. Got some new schemes coming for Steven and Joe as well. So I can't wait to unveil those. Come on. I had to get up here and push them, aren't I? See if I can break the bubble close enough. If I can give him a small bump draft, that'll be good. Come on, Steven. Come on, Steven. You just got to push it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Got Steven right there. Steven is to the front. There we go. We got a Pontiac out front. Ah, if I could get Joe up here. Oh, I'm having fun, guys. I don't know if y'all uh, if y'all can tell, but I'm having fun. Come on, June Buck. Trying my best to get back to Steven, but I'm gonna have to push Dale Jr. to get there. We got everybody all over us right now. Oh boy. Steven's trying to throw a block. That's a mighty block enough for me to get under Dale Jr. Okay. It's one, two for Neko Darius Racing. I don't know where Joe went. I think he's just gotten swallowed by the pack. So again, so sorry to Joe, but I'm gonna work with Steven here. I think Joe faded back guys. I think Joe is um, maybe around 10th, maybe just fading into the top 10. Um, I really wish I could keep helping him, but I, I've got Steven at the front. I, I will be real with you guys. I do plan on making a move on Steven. I don't know if he'll let me make that move. He is a good you know, driver in his own rights. Did really well down in the uh, Bush series. So me calling him up, I knew he was gonna be good. I didn't expect him to be this good at Talladega. Low fuel ain't no problem for me right now. I'm thinking about making, you know, Steven 100% my, my friend because he's already my friend. I own his car, um, but making him 100% on track, you know, off track, we're good buddies, but on track, we weren't that great so far up until today. And he's leading in his second start. So that's, that's huge for Steven, but I am going to try to make the move on him on the last lap here. So. Hopefully he's not too uh, confident in being at the front. I've won myself some restricted plate races. I don't think he's the one one yet. I don't think. I could be wrong. All right, through the tri-oval for the second to the last time here. I've got to make my move at the right moment. Falling back a little bit, just, just sizing him up a bit. All right, Steven, I got you in my sights, man. I'm gonna fall back just a little bit here. Gonna start start prodding. Don't wanna wreck him. Obviously, I don't wanna wreck my own team car. There we go. Got him on, got him on the inside. Oh, he's got me on the drag race. I'm trying my best to run this as clean as possible. It's gonna be close. Oh, Steven got me. Dang it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Second place. Ah, Joe did not finish in the top 10. That sucks, but hey, it's whatever. I'll take it. The race came down to the wire with a very close finish. Wow, you know, you're right. That was an incredible finish to an even more incredible race. This NASCAR Winston Cup series is so exciting to watch.
the MBNA car, really did a fantastic job keeping his car away from trouble all race long. Well, it's going to be a happy crew when they get back to the shop. They can immediately go to work on next week's car without having to worry about fixing anything from this race, and that makes for a much less stressful atmosphere. The 53 car may have some friends out of the track after this one. Yeah, it's good to see drivers work together out there, even when they aren't teammates. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast of NASCAR Winston Cup Racing on MRN, the voice of NASCAR. I personally don't think I've ever been more excited to lose a race since, I don't know, I was a kid and I helped uh, Jerry Nadu win like seven races in a row. Um, but all things considered, here we are. I'm excited to have lost. I lost to a great driver in Steven. Would have loved to have had Joe up there, but unfortunately Joe faded back. Not, not his own doing, you know, that, that just sucks. But Steven came from 41st to win that race after leading six laps. As you know, I finished second after starting second. Uh, Tony Stewart third, Dale Jr. fourth. Rusty Wallace, Jeremy Mayfield, Casey Kane, Ricky Rudd, Michael Waltrip, and Scott Wimmer round up to top 10. Uh, for those that are curious about where Joe wound up fading to, he wound up falling back to 15th, which, again, really sucks because I do feel like Joe should have been up there. He was running uh, fifth for a while. I just couldn't find a way to get back to him and help push him forward. Um, so you see one of our drivers win. You see one of our drivers kind of fade back. But, you know, it happens. Tony Raines finishing 11th after starting 40th. Scott Wimmer started 36th to finish 10th. Ricky Rudd from 33rd all the way up to 8th. Casey Kane 30th to 7th. I mean, we've got a lot of parity in the field uh, this time around. I mean, I guess the only thing that's consistent is that I was second. So... It worked out for the best. Mark Martin faded back to 16th um, because I didn't get a chance to pick him back up. As you guys know, Bible Labani, Ricky Craven, uh, Bible Labani gained like 12 spots. Uh, I'm not seeing like much of like maybe who was a bigger loser outside of maybe Jamie McMurray and Kevin Harvick. They fell, the, I think they fell the furthest. Um, nope, actually, Joe Nemechek fell the furthest. Um, went from fifth down to, or started fifth, finished 31st. So, I mean, oh, actually, scratch that. Jimmy Johnson started third, finished 38th. I think that caution really threw people off. Matt Kenseth DNF'd. Um, Jimmy Spencer DNF'd as well. Um, Brendan Gaughan lost the draft several times and even lost some debris, which is how we had two cautions for six laps and 14 total lead changes. You know, that's that's saying something. You, know, you guys know if you played, the, you know, vanilla NASCAR Thunder 04, we wouldn't have had that kind of parody or that type of stuff in the in the you know on the field. So good to see. Uh, let's head back to Atlanta as a, a car owner winner for again this time with Steven. Who knew? Who knew Steven was going to beat me to the checkered flag? And it was a close finish too. Hold on, before we get out of here, how close was that finish? Yeah, 0 0.038 seconds. That that's that's not a lot, you know. Um, so congrats to Steven for winning. Uh, when I said I needed some Pontiac help, I didn't expect to see one of them winning. I mean, not in their first season. So it worked out. Let's head back to the race. Let's head back to the race shop and uh, get ready for the next one. Real quick, before I looked at anything else, I immediately just hit the button and scrolled all the way down just to see where Steven was in the standings. He is now 38th um, with two races, one win, one top five, one top 10, average start of 41st, average finish of ninth. That's really good. And then, of course, we got Joe. Uh, currently 44th in the standings two starts um hasn't gotten top five or top 10 yet but he'll get there i think i think joe will definitely get there at some point soon um i can't wait to see it of course you guys already know dave blaney made one start so far this season won the race that he started which was that bonkers sawmill speedway um in case you guys forgot dave blaney won didn't think i would say that in a while uh kurt bush and then we got steven who won so Steven went from winning in the Bush series to winning in my series. Go figure. <laughs> uh, as far as the point standings go, I have legged out a bigger lead over Rusty Wallace. 146 points back with Mark Martin, Kurt Bush, Jeff Burton riding out your top five. That is a lot of Roush power between third through fifth. Uh, Jeff Gordon, John Andretti, Jimmy Johnson, Joe Nemechek, and Tony Stewart are your top 10. Don't forget, guys, we do have the chase for the cup this season. So there will be a points reset. Keep that in mind. We got Dale Jarrett, Sterling Marlin, Jimmy, uh, Jamie McMurray, Bob Labonte, and Matt Kenseth in the top 15. Uh, I'm beginning to see what's going on here. We got some drivers that, yeah, they're, they're doing okay. You know, they're, they're definitely 
Okay, they're, they're, they're working on it. Anyways, leaving out of uh, Talladega, I am going to take a quick look at some of the uh, stuff that we have. The Super Speedway stuff, for some reason, lost three points of condition. I don't know how or why. The body didn't lose as much, so that's a little weird. But with nine races left on our sponsorship, we'll be fine. And I think with our shop edition still being six races out, we'll be fine. I think we're going to be okay. The next race is Darlington. I'm looking forward to the Carolina Dodge Dealers. What was it? 400? Yeah, 400. And then we go right to Richmond. Then it goes to Lowe's. Then it's Dover, Pocono. Like we've got a large slate of speedways coming up after Darlington. So I've got to be a little concerned, but I'm not too concerned because, again, we just put some stuff in that were um, speedway stuff. We just put that stuff in for work prior to Talladega. So we should get all that back and that will help. Then, of course, we go straight to a short track and uh, Richmond. Then we kind of work through the Coke 600, you know, and all the other stuff. And plus the exhibition race. Then we go right back to Daytona right after Infineon. So we've got quite a lot of work to do. And then, of course, we go right back to Talladega. Um, and then, of course, back to Daytona. So there's, there's a really unique schedule this season, and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing what comes next. Can't believe it. We're already 10 races into the season, another 16 to go, and we'll be right in the chase. 10 races left to determine the champion, and no, we're not doing elimination races, so you ain't got to worry about that, okay? Promise. But um, yeah, nah. Um, 10 races to go in the season. Looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. If you like today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that, just smash that button if you really enjoyed seeing Steven W1323 win. And if you want to see uh, Steven's channel, check him out on YouTube underneath the exact same name, Steven W1323. This is your host, Neko Darius, losing to a guy he hired. It happens. I'm glad to see it happen, though. See you guys next time. Be easy, everybody.